Since 2021, at least five children have been mauled to death by dogs. Previously, the yearly average had been three. Well, our next guest is going to explain more. This is Stan Rawlinson. He joins us now. Good morning to you, Stan. Thank you so much for joining us. Why are we seeing this increase? Are, are dogs getting more dangerous? Uh, I think there's a number of factors that are involved in this. Um, they are shocking figures, but not surprising. In 2019, there was 7.8 million dogs in the UK. Uh, from the start of the pandemic in 2020, that was in January, that figure has leapt to 12.2 million dogs, a rise of over 33%. That, of course, was caused by the isolation of people uh, away from friends, relatives, et cetera, et cetera. And they needed something else to fill that blank space. So the first thing they went to for dogs, so the demand went up. The problem is, is the education, uh, the, the thought of what owning a dog means was not really taken into account. Uh, we do live in a society that we want it all and we want it now, if it's not a quote from uh, Queen. Uh, and uh, I think that has certainly happened. And I believe there's a lot of education needs to go on with the general public before they actually purchase a dog and just work at it. I actually believe they should bring back licensing with a couple of other things involved in it. So you're saying that bring back licensing and make it mandatory for dog owners to go through some sort of training, behavioural training themselves to deal with their pet? Absolutely correct, Paul. Um, I, a bit like a car licence, if you want to put it that way. Uh, what you would do is you would take a written test and you'd take a practical test. It wouldn't be a particularly different, difficult one or onerous, but that education is so important. The first 16 weeks of a dog's life is the most important uh, of any other period in that animal's life. The same as with humans, it's five and a half years. What you create with a human in five and a half years with a dog, you do it in 16 weeks. And in that 16 weeks, we've got two critical periods. The first critical period is a human socialization period, zero to 12 weeks. You must mix those dogs with young children, old people, lots and lots of people handling them, a minimum of 100 people. If they don't, they feel uncomfortable around humans. And children jump about and leap about and do unusual things, they're erratic. So what happens in that case, the dog becomes fearful or just aggressive and attacks them. Yeah. The zero to 16 weeks is a canine socialization period. That means that you have to mix with other puppies. You must mix with lots of other dogs so that dogs can learn to communicate with other dogs. If they can't, once again, they feel uncomfortable, nervous, anxious, because this is a new thing to them. And that critical period, that educational period is not commonly known. It is so important. Mm. And a lot of it is to do with, it, with that responsibility of owning a dog. And as you say, there isn't huge amounts of education out there in terms of people who are buying dogs. There is actually a, um, a article in the Sunday Times today um, from Maddie Spence. She's saying that sometimes we forget that, that dogs are dogs. Uh, we throw our arms around, we, around them, we dress them up, we pick them up, we, we hug them really close to our faces. For us, that's expressions of love, but to a dog, that can be quite threatening, can't it? Absolutely, Ellie. You're absolutely spot on. Uh, and we must understand how dogs think. They live in a parallel universe to us. They, they, their ability to smell things, and little things down the side of the nose. I don't know if they've ever closely looked at the dog's face, but they've got splits down the side of the nose. That's so they can breathe in and breathe out at the same time while taking scent in. And during that scent, they can taste it, put it across a gland underneath that. And sometimes as we get closer and closer, that smell gets stronger. And if we're anxious or nervous around them, they pick up that nervousness, they pick up that anxiety. Uh, and uh, 
that can react. It really can. It's surprisingly enough, 93% of all aggression from dogs is fear-based. It's not dominance-based. That was a misnomer. It was incorrect. And the fear-based, of course, is created in the first 16 weeks. Yeah, I, I, I completely hear you, Stan. We, we have a dog, we have a chihuahua, and they can, and he can definitely sense when someone is scared around him and he picks up on it. And it's a, it, it is almost like a sixth sense. So I know exactly where you're coming from. Paul, it is. They're super senses that they've got. They're so heightened. I mean, if you took a teaspoonful of sugar and put it into uh, a uh, two Olympic swimming pools, there's many, many dogs uh, that will be able to detect that level of sugar in that amount of water. It's unbelievable their sense of smell, but also the sense of hearing. And lots of other senses are far more enhanced than ours are. And we have to understand that they are dogs. And it is so important that we understand their dog. For instance, we make our dogs fearful. We make our dogs bite sometimes because we comfort those dogs. What we do, we think as humans, we're anthropomorphic. By that, it means we think everything thinks the same as we. We do not think like dogs. And dogs don't think we are a dog. All this idea you can be the leader of the wolf pack, you can be the leader of a pack of dogs, you can be the, uh, the, the pack leader, the alpha, is absolutely rubbish. It's not true. There is no alphas in a wolf pack, for instance, which is where this erroneous science came from. We looked at um, dogs uh, in captivity because we couldn't observe them in the wild. We've killed them for the last 15,000 years, and because of that, they've become fearful of us. So until we had tracker collars, drones, everything else, we only way we could observe them is in captivity. And when we actually observed them by using these new techniques, we found they were a family unit. Uh, they were mother, father, and offspring. It's almost like a democracy rather than an autocracy. They're not fighting for supremacy and to become top, top wolf. That is totally incorrect, and that was debunked in 1990. And yet still we have programs on the TV showing that you have to be the dominant partner in it. It's not true. It's a democracy. We should stop using that phrase, top dog then. I mean, to put ourselves in their shoes.